Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. And I do hope indeed that you are having a great day. Today is the first day of 2020 and the first day of January. Of course, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all the best in 2020. I hope indeed that everything that you plan will be successful. I hope indeed that you will have a victorious year, a peaceful year, a year of vision. It's 2020 perfection, if you ask me, perfect year. Any ideas that you wanted to try out, anything that you wanted to do in terms of business, education, career, I think now this year is a good time to actually give it a go and hoping that it will be successful because it's a year of perfection. As you know, I'm not able to actually do videos in the backyard garden for you guys. I'm not in the backyard garden in almost about uh, seven months. Um, it's a sad thing, but it's actually a good thing. Sometimes you have to, you know, move away for a while so that you can develop yourself even better. Now, of course, I do apologize. Um, this is not a shades. It's actually a glasses, but it's dark so you may not see my eyes it's transition so as it's bright outside you may not see my eyes so i'm simply doing the introduction video right now without the glasses but keep in mind that my eyes is actually burning me but i want you guys to see my eyes of course as i wish you guys all the best for 2020 because you know to me if i talk to you like that it will not be the same honestly i want you guys to feel me and you guys to understand what i'm saying to you so of course um as i said please have yourself a great 2020 um now in this video as you saw in the title and also the thumbnail i'm actually going to try out a fruit i came across the dragon fruit this fruit is an exotic fruit we do not have this fruit in dominica this is actually a fruit found in australia asia or the tropical um regions but i've never seen it in dominica but the good thing is that it actually can grow in dominica because guess what it is part of the cactus family dominica have a lot of plants which is part of the cactus family so this plant can actually grow in dominica or in the caribbean so i am so very happy that i came across this fruit this fruit cost this fruit I was shocked but I felt to myself it's worth it because I've never got the opportunity to taste this fruit before and I've never seen it in person before. This fruit costs 17 US dollars. 17 this is almost 50 EC dollars and it's very heavy um when i looked online it says normally it goes for about 10 dollars well 5 to 10 dollars per pound. This is very heavy it's a very heavy fruit it's actually a fruit actually rich in moisture also because as you know cactus most of the cactus plants are able to retain moisture in it for quite a long time i'm just going to read some information i got in regard to the dragon fruit the dragon fruit its actual scientific name is pataya pataya is the actual name of this fruit um it's a fruit which is part of the cactus species of indigenous to the americas the pata is referred, usually refers to as dragon fruit so for energy it has 60 calories 60 calories this one might have a lot more than 60 calories because it's very big um and protein it have 3.5 grams of protein okay per 100 gram and vitamin c it has 9.2 milligram per 100 gram calcium 107 milligram per 100 grams sodium 39 which is 39 milligram per 100 gram and dietary fiber 1.8 gram per 100 gram so this is a very healthy fruit you can eat i am i am hoping that i can store the seeds as you know i'm not able to do anything really planting right now but i will try my best to store the seeds to try it i think it can grow i think i can actually grow this fruit i'm very happy to have the opportunity to taste this fruit and of course we're going to cut it right now i will give you a closer view as i'm going to cut it open for the first time it is said that the seeds are edible because the seeds are very small i understood and i saw from the pictures it's very small it actually reminds me of kiwi the seeds remind me of kiwi, but it is edible, okay? So there's no need to try to move all the seeds before you enjoy this fruit. So now let's go ahead and cut this fruit as we enjoy it. And I do apologize if you're here in vehicle. Where I'm located, have some vehicles passing. There's a main road passing right there, so I do apologize, okay? Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead and basically taste or cut this fruit first, and then we will zoom out and taste it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to cut this fruit for the first time. This is a big dragon fruit, as I told you. It's very big. Um, so I sadly forgot to ask them for the actual weight. But it really feels about two pounds here. It's very heavy. It's very heavy. This is the average size of a bottle. As you can see, it's almost as tall as the bottle. Or basically my palm. If I use my palm as a measurement tool, you can see how big it is. It's very big. Now, the best way to cut it idly is by cutting it in four slices okay and guess what i actually bought this knife just for this video <laughs> because i 
I can't say why, but I actually bought this knife just for this video, guys. So <laughs> this is a huge investment in this video for you guys. So now we're just gonna cut it. So here we go. You cut it in half. Try your best. Wow. This looks so beautiful. Try your best to cut it in half. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I wish you guys could see my facial expression. It's a pity. That is so amazing. Look at this. This is so absolutely amazing. I'm gonna take a picture of this right now. You guys, and now we have to cut the half in half again, which is, you know, three quarter. I'm just gonna have this one placed here still so that we could cut this one and do the tasting. Gonna cut it again, half. This knife is very sharp, so very sharp. Sorry, I don't have a nice cutting board. I'm making do with what I have. This is actually paper, this um, plate right there. So please, guys, promote using actual paper plate rather than styrofoam and plastic, okay? So this is the fruit, the dragon fruit. Now, it's actually very easy, I understood, to remove the skin. You simply hold the top after you cut it into three quarters. You hold the top and then you bend it, basically bend it. It's very easy to remove, very, very easy, okay? It's very easy to remove. Here we go. And imagine, guys, imagine enjoying this fruit. This skin is so very thick. This would be good compost. This is very thick skin. I wonder if there's something else you can do with this skin. It's very thick and of course it have a bright color. I wonder if they would make dye with this. What do you think, guys? It have a very bright color. Okay guys, so of course this is the dragon fruit. What I can say so far, it feels very slimy, um, of course, um, but that is expected because it's very rich in moisture. Um, it's very slimy, very heavy, as I advise you. The texture, so far it's tough, it reminds me of melon, but melon usually um, feels very firm, so it's easier to break a melon. This one, I'm gonna try it, just for the video. Yeah, this one, it's, it's, as, it's almost like melon, but melon is a bit um, firmer, so it's very easy to break. Okay, but this one is thicker, it's much dense, obviously, than a melon, that's for sure. So now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to remove this one and then we're going to go ahead and taste it, okay? Okay guys, so right now we're going to go ahead and taste the dragon fruit. The good thing is that you'll see my facial expression. I'm going to try to move my glasses and do it without it because I want you guys to see me. Of course, the, as I said, it's very bright. Nonetheless, same thing, you peel it out. You peel it. And here it is, this beautiful, delicious looking, <laughs> delicious looking fruit. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's sour or sweet, um, but I'm going to assume maybe it's like, because it's very rich in moisture and it's like a cactus, it's like aloes. Aloes is bitter. Um, I've never actually tasted um, the other type of cactus with the fronds on them. But I'm going to assume it's like a bitter sweet maybe. Or it tastes like um, basically water. <laughs> Let's go ahead and taste it for the first time guys. Wow. Okay. It's not sweet. And it's not bitter. It's almost tasteless but yet still it's very satisfying to eat very satisfying it reminds me of kiwi guys seriously it reminds me of kiwi this is a fruit to have when you are dying of thirst this is tasting much better than watermelon when you're thirsty watermelon is obviously much sweeter but this fruit tastes actually amazing wow almost I almost feel bad for having teeth in my mouth eating this. This is so succulent and marsh. Very soft. You can eat this without teeth. So this is good for elders. This fruit is actually very good for elders. My teeth almost useless eating this. Let's try something. Let me try my lips without my teeth. One more. And I did not have to chew. It's very soft. I'd recommend this for elders. All they have to do when they bite it, once their tongue press up against, I'm sorry, upwards toward their, their upper jaw, or their upper mouth, or the, the roof of their mouth, 
um, it will actually squish and break down and you can actually swallow it like that it's very good so guys this is my first time tasting the dragon fruit and I must say it is worth having of course the seeds are very small but I'm going to try to plant them have you guys ever planted the dragon fruit seed before let me know in the comment section so I can ha know whether or not this will be successful I feel I'm blessed enough to plant the seed and that they will grow and germinate and produce okay now before we conclude this video I'm gonna watch a short video about the dragon fruit and how it's grown um, but in the meantime let's just enjoy this um, single slice and then I'll put this away and um, we'll check out the video mmm very nice I must admit, this is very nice. Mmm. Oh, the center is a bit sweeter. The center. Mmm. Guys, I want to hear this close up. I don't feel hear it. ASMR style. Hear this. It's so rich. And moisture. Mmm. Yep. This is very delicious, guys. Of course, you can see how easy the seeds. Sorry, as I'm wiping my hand, here's some seeds on on the napkin. So I'll do this. I will take some and put it on napkin, and then put it in the fridge. So when I get the opportunity, I'll try to plant it. Most likely you can grow them actually in the napkin, I feel. I will, I'll try different um, ideas, but I will save this one on the side. So I can probably save some seeds or perhaps a piece and put it in the fridge. Okay, let's go ahead and check out a video in regards to growing basically um, dragon fruit. Let's go ahead. Okay guys, so let's check out this video, agribusiness, how it works. After planting the dragon fruit, it is now time for plant maintenance. Pruning, wow. So you see, and it looks like covering. a cactus. Know the steps wow. Of taking care of your Yo. fruit before the time of harvest. That is why this is so expensive. This looks like it it needs a lot of care and attention. Taking care of dragon fruit is relatively easier compared to other plants. Really? So why is it so expensive then? <laughs> adapted to hot weather conditions because it can store its own water. That is very Dragon true. Fruit like an aloe. Rain for water supply, so there's no need to water them except during extremely dry seasons. Wow. There's Look also at this. no need to constantly trim the grass around it. This grass acts as a blanket for the dragon fruit against cold weather and against insects that may destroy its stems and fruits. Wow. So how then is it so expensive being that it's easy to grow and easy About to maintain? A month after planting, stem pruning can now be conducted. Stem pruning. That's removing Check younger the ones from the side. The dragon fruit. Remove the thinner ones and yes. those growing on a direction away from the post. Constantly so, prune the stems of your dragon fruit to keep it healthy. Flowering. After eight months, buds will now sprout from the thorns of the dragon fruit. Really? Within two weeks, wow. these buds will begin to bloom. Look at that. That's amazing. Never knew before dragon that a dragon fruit flowers fruits. bloom around six in the evening. By six in the morning, wow. the following day, it will Look at already that. have dried up. Wow! It reminds Maybe me of pumpkin. The leaf, the flower. The flower reminds me of this pumpkin. This small fruit will continue to grow in the following days. Wow! How long does it take? They did not say. I wonder how long it takes to 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 mature. When the dragon fruit has grown into a size as big as your fist. It is ready to be covered with plastic. Yes, you see like this one. I am hoping that this is organically grown. I don't think you can um, Covering basically... Covering the dragon fruit will protect it from insects that can destroy its quality. I don't think they can grow this GMO style. I'm not quite sure. Maybe. But I'm hoping I bought it in a, in a store, so I'm not sure if it's organic. That's the only thing. But it looks like it's very Another easy to grow organic. Another way of protecting fruits from insects is by placing a bottle covered with attractant near the dragon fruit. Wow. This will also serve as additional protection for it can ensnare insects and trap them on it. 
That's that's a good idea. Covering the fruits with plastic and placing attractants near it eliminates the need for pesticides and other chemicals. Good, so this it can way, be grown the organically. Fruit remains organic, which makes it healthier you see? and safer to consume. Yes, exactly. That is awesome. After two weeks, the unripe dragon fruits will already show a touch of red on it. Wow. On red? Another three to four days, the dragon fruits are ready for harvest. Wow. So dragon they have fruit that farming requires minimal maintenance. This delicious fruit does not demand much in order to maintain its quality and nutritional value. Wow. After a short amount of time, you are ready to begin harvesting your farm. Wow, that's interesting. So that was the short video on the dragon fruit. Um, as I said, I don't think they can really, um, you know, tamper with its quality too much because it's grown like aloes and cactus. These plants are very resilient. Um, it's not so I don't think it's quite easy, perhaps, to um, take away the quality or, or its organic quality. If you guys know that it's been grown like. Um, in a lab or for the testing process or GMO let me know um, but I believe that it is a plant that grows very organic of course thank you so very much for sticking around as I said for 2020 I hope that you guys have a great year um, hopefully everything will settle down soon and I will know what's going to happen in regards to planting or doing back in garden most likely will no longer be home um, but I will let you guys know and I will keep you guys updated of course please continue to pray for me and um, wish all that is good for me as I wish for you um, in 2020. I've got a lot of hard work to do um, for the next three to four months to be successful at what I'm doing right now. And then I would advise you guys or update you guys as to what's going on. But in the meantime, be strong, eat healthy. Remember guys, the back kid garden some ways will keep the doctors away. And by the way, we have to possibly um, revitalize or reconsider some of the things in regards to Agus back kid garden, motor, vision, mission, these sort of things, and to make it even better. Okay, I'd like to push Agus towards the 17 sustainable goals set forth by the UN. Um, of course some of the things in these goals, in some of the goals we are actually accomplishing it through Agus Back Kid Garden but I want to basically change up my um, vision, mission and these sort of things um, and even the motto towards the whole idea of the 17 sustainable goals um, under the UN program. Thank you so very much guys. Remember, a Back Kid Garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and Agus Way is out.